Before the days of efficient long-distance travel, people stuffed themselves into ships and sailed across oceans on uncomfortably long journeys. Passengers brought their valuables and warships brought supplies, all of which ended up at the bottom of the ocean where the sea to claim the ship, which was often. Years later, scattered across the bottom of the seven seas, there are an estimated three million shipwrecks each with an interesting story to tell. Some, like Sweden's Kronen, are like portals back in time. Filled with treasures and other interesting valuables, the Kronen has been a honeypot for researchers over the past four decades. While the most the most recent dive turned up some valuable artifacts, one uncovered item was something that completely blew explorers away. The Kronen was the largest ship ever built for the Swedish Navy when it was completed in 1672. Tragically, in 1676, the ship sunk to the ocean's depths while maneuvering for a battle. The wreck claimed the lives of nearly 800 people. The belief is that, in the midst of poor weather, the gunpowder on board exploded and sunk the ship. This theory was bolstered when, in the 1980s, Explorer Anders Franzen discovered the shipwreck and realized that it was missing its stern. Since then, the Swedish government has sponsored yearly archaeological dives to collect artifacts. Researchers have discovered over 30,000 artifacts since exploration began. Some are interesting, some are spectacular, and some are downright smelly. Objects from the wreck have since been compiled in museums for all to see. These well-preserved firearms and firearm stocks reveal valuable information about 17th century warfare. Around the time the Kronen sank, Sweden had one of the finest fleets and weapon arsenals in the world. Divers found more than just weaponry, though. They also uncovered objects like this violin, which spoke more about the everyday life and musical tastes of 17th century Sweden. And, since Sweden's first violin makers didn't start studying the craft until the end of the 1600s, this must have been one of the country's first. As the divers continued making regular trips down into the depths to sift through the Kronen's wreckage, they found more and more interesting objects. The most recent dive turned up this pristine gold ring. But there was more. Recent dives resulted in the discovery of this collection of coins. Rich copper mines peppered Sweden at the time of the Kronen sinking, and one mine in particular, the Phelan mine, produced two-thirds of the necessary strategic copper in all of Europe. Perhaps the most interesting item divers discovered, however, was sealed tightly inside this oddly heavy tin jar. Researchers found the jar pressed into a clay seabed. After retrieving it, they shipped it off to a lab for study. What was inside? When scientists opened the jar, they were overwhelmed by a pungent, horrific smell. We're pretty sure it's some kind of dairy product, butter or cheese, said Lars Einarsson, the man in charge of the shipwreck. Researchers described the smell as a mix of yeast and roque for cheese. Certainly don't recommend tasting it, Lars added in his interview with the Swedish media, it's a massive bacteria. He warned that, while he enjoys cheeses, whose character lives on in their smell, this particular cheese's odor was probably not for everyone. Still, you can't help but wonder what 340-year-old cheese might taste like. After countless dives and searches, researchers are still turning up lost treasures in the Kronen's wreckage. Sure, a pirate might not sail the seven seas in search of this particular booty, but 370-year-old cheese is nothing to curdle your milk at. The question is, would you take a bite? Share this interesting discovery with your friends. Subscribe for more.